Okay, so here's the lineup. We got 24 karat gold, and we did uh, probably two, three parts flow trawl. I didn't measure. Tiny bit of water. And then we got some Artist Loft Aqua Green. Same. Probably two to three parts flow trawl. A little bit of water in there. And then we did Arteza Pearl Sage Green. And this one, I didn't add any water to. It seemed lighter. Sorry, it's not running off the stick very well. And then I added Rusty to a little bit of Joe Sonia gloss varnish. And then some heavy gloss gel. See if I can get some up here. It's a really pretty color, so I'll open this and show you. So it did pretty good in the flow trawl. I'd say it looks looks pretty good. All right, so let's let's give it a shot. So let me show you the setup. We got a 10 by 20 canvas, and then we got the new adjustable Tracy Reed dancing feet. They're pretty sweet. You just twist them and get them set into place so you're level. We got the acrylicpouringtools.com swiper that I'm going to use. First, I'd like to thank everybody so much for coming to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed this creation. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful, and I hope you enjoy it too. The mold that you see there, that's a tool from Tracy Reed Designs. That's an open cup pour tool, and I'm just using it to kind of have a guideline and an outline to start my flower. I just wanted kind of a, a center circle, so I'm not pouring in it, but I thought it would be a, a good reference to use. The back uh, base paint is Floetrol um, Lamp Black from Jerry's Artorama, their creative inspiration paint. So Lamp Black, Floetrol, and Water. And then I'm just laying down some Arteza here. That's the Pearl Sage. And then I'm gonna lay down the gold next and then the aqua blue. And then after that, I'm gonna lay down Eye Candy Pigments Rusty, color Rusty. So I will go ahead and fast forward and speed this process up and then I'll be right back with you guys. Now the fun part, let's get some swipes and see how those pigments lay on top of the colors.
I think it's looking pretty good so far. So I'm going to finish this set out and then I'll grab the slightly smaller swipe tool and I'll do one more layer. So I'm going to go ahead and put another song on and it will just be a couple more minutes and then I'll be right back with you. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few last edits, add a couple little little lines of aqua green to try and tie it together just a little bit. So this will be the third swipe tool I've used from Tracy Reed Designs. I'm loving this set. It's working out so good. I'm just going to torch a little bit and pop the last little bit of surface bubbles if I can. Induce any cells if at all possible. I think it came out gorgeous. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments. Uh, the color Rusty just looks awesome on here. And I'm honestly, I'm really proud. This is the first time I've used it with Floetrol, American Floetrol and Gloss Medium to use a pigment other than in the bloom technique. So I think it looks really great. It looks like it's floating above those other colors. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I appreciate you guys coming. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Hit the bell if you want to be notified for any of my future videos or tutorials. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you don't already. Alright, so still a little bit wet. But here's the results. So far, it looks pretty cool. It's like so 3D. The pigments held up really, really nice. There's no flocculation or sep separation. The aqua green just makes that stand out. But yeah, 
it's looking pretty good dry results hope you guys like it